on an eyelash uh, on my leg. So, yay. Hey y'all, what's up? I hope that you're having an awesome day and today we're going to get into it. We are going to get into it because I have an update. Um, so this is my seventh month post-op update. I did have the VSG surgery, the vertical sleeve gastrectomy in Tijuana, Mexico with the Mexico Bariatric Center. I will have all of my stats listed down below in the description box. So I had my surgery um, seven months ago, which was July 13th of 2018. So I am down 80 pounds since then. Well, well, let me talk about that. So, um, you know, through, uh, like I said in a previous update, over the holidays, you know, Christmas and everything, I did gain a few pounds. Um, I did get those off, you know, pretty much right away. But since then, I couldn't lose weight. I don't know why. I was just stalled. Like, you know, I cleaned up my diet. I was doing everything like I should be. You know, I do allow myself a little bit of carbs if I want them. You know, a couple chips or something here and there. Like one slice of bread or like a half slice or something like that. But, you know, I don't go crazy with carbs or anything like that. But I do allow myself them because I don't want to be miserable, you know. Like, I had the surgery... And I'm really grateful for that. And I'm so grateful that I'm losing weight. But I don't want to be absolutely miserable. So that's why I allow myself a little bit of carbs here and there. But, like I said, I don't get crazy. That being said, um, I'm stalled. And it's really irritating. Um, so I'm going to give you a little bit of a timeline. And things are going to kind of... Stories are going to kind of start doing this. <laughs> um, okay, let me start over. So, as some of you know, if you've been watching my videos for a while, you know that I have PCOS, which is polycystic ovarian syndrome. Um, I didn't have a period for about like four or five years. No period at all whatsoever. Nothing. Um, I had the surgery, I think about a month or two later, I started getting a period, which was huge for me because, you know, obviously I didn't have one, I wasn't ovulating, and the chances of me having children were slim to none. Um, so, not pregnant, just want to say it right now, not pregnant. Would I, ha would, would I be happy if I was pregnant? Yes, I would, but I'm not pregnant, so just to say that right now. Um, my period, since it started, after I had my surgery, I was on the 8th every single month. The 8th until, like, the 15th. It was, like, a seven-day, you know, week-long period. Then, um, January, no, December, it was a couple days late. I started on the 10th, which was fine. And then January... I started on the 10th again. Today's date is February 17th and I still have not started my period. I'm a little irritated because I don't know what is going on with me at all. I have no idea. Um, <laughs> like I've also mentioned before in previous videos, I don't go to the doctor. I don't have a primary care physician. I <laughs> just don't go to the doctor. I don't like to. Um, I really didn't like to whenever I was 80 pounds heavier because all you hear is, you need to lose weight. You need to lose weight. And I knew that. I know that I had to lose weight. I know. But I still don't go to the doctor. Um, I probably should. Whatever. I'll deal with that at a different point in my life. But <sighs> I still haven't started my period. And I think, I'm going to have to segue again. So, as some of you know, most of you do not, um, I work part-time at a flower shop. Um, my mom, she is a floral designer. She's been designing, ugh, I don't know, more than 20 years at this point. Um, so, I work at a flower shop with my mom. I do a little bit of design work most of the time. I'm just answering phones, but I do a little bit of design and I love it. 
I really do. Whenever I get to do whatever I want, I really like it. That's not the point. The point is, is that, like I said, today's the 17th. Last week was Valentine's Day week. That is our absolute busiest day of the year. And then Mother's Day is a close second to that. But, obviously, you know, Valentine's Day, everyone's getting flowers. It was very busy for us. And, yes, I was very stressed out the entire week last week. There was several days last week where we were staying very late and, you know, on Valentine's Day we had, I don't even know, probably, honestly, I don't know, probably 200 deliveries maybe. Something insane like that. I mean, we had a lot of delivery drivers. We had so many orders going out. So it was just a very busy, stressful week. And I'm sure that that has something to do with why my period hasn't started. But, I mean, like... I need it to come on, you know? I've been, like, PMSing so bad. Like, I'm, 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 I'm sorry, honey. I, you know, my, my honey, he's been a trooper through this, but I've been really unbearable, and I'm sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, I, uh, I just really need to start my period now so I can move on from this. Um, but I have taken a couple different pregnancy tests and it's come up negative both times. Um, like a hard negative. Like, there was no even, like, second stripe or anything, you know. It was a hard negative. So, I don't know. Hopefully I start my period soon because I don't know what's going on. I guess if I don't start it soon, I'll end up going to a doctor just so I make sure that everything is okay with me. I know. Um, let's see what else. So, oh, now I remember. So with that being said, with me gaining weight, see, I segued from gaining weight to all of my period talk. So with that being said, every time that I start my period, I do gain about two to three pounds. No matter what, I will always gain two to three pounds. I bloat, I hold water, you know, I will gain two to three pounds every time I start my period. And that's fine because usually it comes off within like a week. It comes right off and then I lose a little bit more. Uh, yeah, that's not happening with me right now. Um, I, let me try to think of when this was. So about two weeks ago, um, I got down to 212, which was exactly 80 pounds down from surgery or 80 pounds down from my highest weight. Um, then I got up to 215 and I was like, well, I am going to start my period. I always gain weight right before then, you know, it's whatever. Um, I wasn't eating like shit or anything. I was still eating, you know, like normal, still getting in my protein. And I woke up one morning and I was up to 218. So being from 212 to 218 and especially whenever your, you know, your mindset is, oh, I'm losing weight, losing weight, losing weight you know, every single day, every single week, I'm losing weight, you know, I have the surgery, whatever. Whenever you backtrack and you gain weight, it, it messes with you. I, I was very upset. I was upset with myself because I, I'm like, dude, I know that I'm not doing anything wrong. And this was like, you know, the week of Valentine's, last week, week of Valentine's Day. I, whatever. I was up in my pounds and I was upset, like upset, obviously. And I keep repeating myself because I was upset, you know what I mean? Since then, uh, I don't remember what day that was last week whenever I weighed myself. I think it might have been like the 12th or 13th whenever I did weigh myself and I was up to 218. Um, since then, I did drop back down to 215. So I'm happy about that, but I still haven't started my period. And I'm sure that the stress of Valentine's Day, the stress of my period not coming, you know, probably because the stress of Valentine's Day is making all of this happen. So I've been chill, you know, I, I had Friday off and, you know, I don't work on the weekends or anything. I had Friday off. I've just been hanging out, you know, whatever. So I'm hoping that it'll come off. Hold on. We have a visitor. Hi. This is my little baby. 
this is my boy, his name is Sheldon, he's my little old man, and he doesn't have many teeth, so his little tongue sticks out a lot, and he wants to be held right now, even though he's thinking. Don't you? What are you doing? Oh, you smell that puppy. I went to my sister's house, and I was nuggling her Great Dane puppies, and he smells it. This is my pride and joy. Sheldon is my life, my soul, my reason for living. Okay. Here. Can you sit, like, right here? Can you stand up? Okay. He's gonna be right here. So, like I said, I gained weight, but I did lose about three of those pounds, so I am happy about that, but I, I just, I really want to get back under you know, that 212, like, I, I'm so close to, like, getting to, like, my one, I, I want to hit 100 pounds of weight loss, you know, 100 pounds down, and, you know, obviously I'm not going to stop there, but I just want to be 100 pounds down, just so I can say, I lost 100 pounds, you know, that's, like, a, I don't know how much kids weigh, that, that's what, like, a, a 13 year old or something like that, 100 pounds, I don't know, but, um, so, I mean, I'm, I'm so close to being in the 100s, and I would, oh, God damn it, and I would just be so happy to get there, you know, I just, I want to do it. So, with that being said, um, I joined a gym. I know that I talked about it last month, that I wanted to join a gym. Well, I did it this week. Uh, actually, I did it online. I joined Planet Fitness, and I joined it last week. I, I, I don't know, I was coming home it was late one night because we worked late and um I heard a um, advertisement on the radio about Planet Fitness and I'm like blah blah you know their whole spiel and I signed up for it that night you know whatever I was like dude it, it's a sign like just do it so I did it and today actually a few hours ago I went in with Chris and we got um what did I get? I got my little black key tag thingy, and they took my picture, showed us around, and everything like that. So I'm super stoked. Um, I'm really excited to get in there and start working out, and hopefully, you know, doing workout, you know, cardio and strength training and all that, that'll help me even more with my weight loss and get me back on track with losing because I, I'm not giving up, you know, obviously. I'm only seven months out, I'm not giving up. A lot of people do tend to slow down at this point. Some people's weight loss, it stops at this point, and you know, a lot of them don't lose anymore, but some people it just slows down, and I know that mine is just slowing down. Um, and you always have to remember that your journey I don't like saying that word. I don't know. I don't like, oh, it's my journey. I know, it's your journey. Like, that's fine. I just don't like using that word. But your situation is not going to be the same as someone else's situation. So I always have to keep that in mind because I always compare myself to other people and other people's weight loss and their success and everything. I always do that. So that is one thing that I have to remember is that I'm different than this person and that person and that person. So, I joined the gym, but it was cool in there. I haven't been to a gym in a very long time, like an actual gym. I have not been a part of one in a very, very long time. So, um, I was a little nervous walking up in there, but I mean, it was so chill. There was like some 70 or 80 year old grandma that was like doing her workouts on the machine and stuff. And... It just felt very comfortable in there. So I'm I'm really excited, you know, to start doing this. Um, I did get a bunch of workout clothes and I feel so cute and sporty in them. And I'm wearing I'm wearing some of my new leggings right now and I got new tennis shoes. Like I went all out with this and I I look cute. Just saying. Uh what else? Um also uh <laughs> for some reason, uh lately probably stress I don't know I've been constipated <laughs> we're getting really real today uh but yeah I was very constipated for like two weeks I don't know if you can hear that my body did something weird 
Um, but yeah, <laughs> I was really constipated for a couple weeks there. Like, not going for a week at a time. It wasn't a good time. Just saying, it was not a good time. So, but I'm, I think I'm okay now. Maybe, I don't know. It's been a few days. I don't know why. Nothing has changed. I haven't done anything different. I haven't been eating anything new. Uh, but yeah, I've uh, been plugged up. If any of y'all are still here, thank you. I appreciate you. I think that is about it. I think I'm going to wrap it up here. So just to kind of recap, uh, I haven't gotten my period in like, I'm like a week late or something. At the, yeah, I'm like a week late at this point. I haven't gotten my period. Not pregnant. Joined a gym. Haven't been pooping. Uh, I think that's about it, y'all. <laughs> What is this? What is this? All right. <clears throat> All right, y'all. So that is going to be it for today. Uh, I hope that that update was entertaining to you. Or if you have any insight, if you have any suggestions or want to share your experience, please leave a comment down below. So if you did like this video and you want to see some more from me, make sure that you subscribe give me a little thumbs up, hit the notification bell, and you will be notified every single Tuesday whenever I post a new video, um, 6 p.m. Central Time. And I will see you in my next one. Bye. Turn up. Let's go. Let's go.